aim and organization that you are representing, then you can fire away. So let's get going. Hello, Shahid. You can proceed. Uh, Elton, welcome to Pakistan once again. You were the captain when uh, Zimbabwe came here in 2015. So how different the fear factor is? Do you think in the last five years, Pakistan have been able to uh, remove fears of the foreign teams? Um, thank you very much. Um, obviously, it's good to be to be back in Pakistan. Uh, looking forward to the games. Um, obviously, the first time we came, uh, I think five years ago, uh, everyone was a bit scared. But I think the way we were hosted last time, um, we had confidence this time that we'll be, you know, we'll be still in safe hands. Uh, and so far. Uh, everyone is comfortable and and after having our first training session today you know we we're looking forward to to the matches thank you okay Damia. hi Ethan. um last time last time you came here you were in top form you scored 100 here um you went on to score 100 against india since then, uh, your personal form, especially with the bat, um, hasn't quite been up to that level 150 in the last four years. Um, what do you think is the key to turning that around, and why do you think you've been struggling that much? Um, I had, after that, I, I, I struggled. Um, I, I had a couple of injuries that you know put me away for for, for quite some times. So it was it was down to my my injuries that I think kept me for almost uh, a year or so out, uh, not playing international cricket. And the time when I came back again, and when I was about to stop playing, I, I got another injury, which was uh, which I had to go and get a, a, a surgery done. So uh, right now I'm looking forward to uh, to this series. Uh, hopefully, get back to to where I was and. You know, playing in Pakistan is the uh, good wickets to bet on. So hopefully, you know, I can you know uh, carry on from last time when I was in Pakistan. Are you fully fit now? Yes, yes. Um, I, I just got um, I the Achilles injury uh, last year, and and now I've recovered. And you know, when I was about to start playing again, then this COVID. Uh, Happen so you know I'm happy to be to be back in the squad. Um, hopefully, I we'll get a chance. I just so enjoy every moment. Okay, Alpha, Alpha Ferros. All right, uh, uh, Elton, welcome to Pakistan. I hope you're having a good time. And uh, your uh, last season, Pakistan was quite well as an individual player. What are your motivations for the uh, for the series and uh, regarding Zimbabwe? What are the motivations of the Zimbabwe crew uh, regarding the series? And uh, if I ask you two names from Pakistan squad, which Zimbabwe is looking forward to encounter, uh, which can be threat to the Zimbabwe, who, who uh, they, those names would be? Uh, thank you very much. Obviously, for us uh, as Zimbabwe cricket, we we here to try and um, you know uh, start winning games. Uh, it's important uh, to also get the points that we need to qualify for the next World Cup. So uh, I can't pick one or two players from Pakistan. You know, it's going to be important for us to to pick every player in the Pakistan team so that we. We, we polish ourselves and uh, make sure that we, uh, we play good cricket and, and hopefully uh, cross the line most of the games that we're going to play here. Hello, Elton. Can you hear me there, firstly? Yes, yes. How determined are you to start the ICC World Cup Super League on a positive note? Obviously, you missed out on the 2019 World Cup. Surely the road to India 2023 starts properly. Um, next week with the first ODI. Yes, definitely. Uh, everyone is now aware of, uh, you know, 
how we should start our series, uh, because it's not just the series that will, will determine our future. So every game that you're going to play in the Super Super League is, is very important for the team so that we qualify for the next next World Cup. Um, uh, obviously, we're going to take it one game at a time, but everyone in the team is is very ready and eager to go. And uh, hopefully, we'll start on a, on a, on a good note. Okay. Uh, anyone else with a question? Yeah, this is Moisha from the News Islamabad. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, you know, you know, Pakistan has always been a competitive team when it comes to playing a, at home. Uh, what preparations you have made for this series, especially for this series, one-day series and uh, then T20 series? Do you think you can provide a bit of uh, competitiveness to a Pakistan team? I believe so. Um, uh, we we came here to win. Uh, uh, everyone put the will to go out there and express uh, themselves and and also as a team to to to, to, to win more games. Uh, of the starting here in Pakistan. Uh, I know the wickets are most of the time they always flat they are favorable on, on the betting side uh, and everyone is positive. Um, obviously we, we we're aware of the you know the impact it's gonna uh, be on us you know regarding the the future uh, qualifying for the World Cup. So every game that you're gonna be playing is very important for for us in as marble cricket uh, and. And every player that is here is is aware of that, and uh, you're gonna see us in a uh, you know trying coming to win to try and win games, and everyone is like I said eager to go, um, especially after being out of cricket for almost six seven seven months. So um, everyone is looking forward to it. You know, it's, it's always good to be back on the park. Okay, uh, Afro Feroz, you've got another question. Yes, Elton. Uh, Elton, uh, tell us something about the first session you have uh, had, uh, the training session in the army ground, and tell us about the weather conditions, what were back home in Zimbabwe, and how have you absorbed in uh, the weather conditions currently in Pakistan? Um, funny enough, you know, uh, coming from home and, and the weather that we we are experiencing here, yeah, it's quite similar. So, you know, uh, not many people, not many guys struggled today uh, when we went for, for training. It was good to be on the park. Uh, it was good to obviously trying to get used to Pakistan weekends because the ones that are at home and just the ones that we are facing here, yeah, they're, they're, they're different. But, um, you know, to have a few of what we're gonna be expecting was good, um, and it's, it's we we have at least six days of you know uh, getting used to the conditions, you know, making our plans uh, before we we are released in this uh, uh, quarantine time. But uh, it's you know there's now it's in a way it's a positive for the team that we we get to spend more time before we. We we start our, our our first game than before where you used to maybe spend two or three days before you you play your your first international. All right, back to you, Shahid. Shahid, be your mic, please on. Can you your mic off? Elton, uh, there was a time when we, when Zimbabwe were lost to international cricket, they were not playing test cricket, and then suddenly they did not qualify for the 2019 World Cup. How important it is uh, for Zimbabwe to have a resurgence because they are much needed at international level. It, it is very important, um, and the good thing about uh, us players, we are, we are aware of it. And we have experienced the impact that it, uh, it it had on us last time we didn't qualify for the World Cup. So we are all aware of what is happening, um, what we need to do so that we, we make our life easier to qualify. Uh, 
So, like I said, each game that you're going to be playing is very important for uh, the future of Zimbabwe cricket, the, the players, uh, the youngsters, so that you know we we stay in the um, in the top rankings when it comes to you know going to the World Cups, and you know it's it's important that we. Um, we have to play to win, not to just compete. Um, so all those mindsets are, are things that we have spoken about you know, during our training and everyone is aware of what we need to do as a team and as individuals when it comes to uh, these international games. Okay, anyone else? Abdullah? Uh, has the absence of coach uh, Lal Chand uh, Rajput affected the squad in any way? Uh, obviously, you probably were expecting him to be on this tour, but he's, he's not going to be part of this tour. Yes, um, nothing is going to change. Um, I think the same system, the same assistant coaches that were under him uh, are the ones that are leading uh, the team. So all the, the, the values of, uh, of the team are, are still the same. So... It's just a matter of you know us as players to, to carry on and, and make sure that we um, we implement what he always uh, 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 put across to us and obviously you'll be tuned to what we'll be doing here in Pakistan. Okay, Asha Masood Khan from uh, this uh, the nation. Hello, Azar Masood Khan here. My question uh, for you is that how do you rate Pakistan team and uh, what uh, you expect the outcome of the series against Pakistan? Our goal is simple. We are here, we are here to win games. Um, obviously, Pakistan, as players, we have to respect, you know, they're a good team. We don't have to relax. Um, obviously, when when you when it comes to ranking, we are underdogs, but um, we have won games against Pakistan. So we just have to make sure that we um, we stay positive. Um, most teams haven't played international cricket for quite a long time, so it's sort of like I know they've had the series before, but uh, one series uh, there's a it's not much difference. Um, we just have to make sure that we, we hit the ground running, especially with our first match. Um, we've got experienced guys in the team. Um, so um, I'm sure we're going to have uh, some confidence that we're going to have a good tour here. Katinda ZFM. Hi. Um, uh, just uh, sorry, I think the question may have been asked. I joined a bit late. Uh, but uh, with uh, Coach uh, Rajput not being there, uh, what's been the message that has been communicated? Uh, did you communicate a message to you guys? And uh, what's going? To, what's the message and what's the mission coming the, going over to Pakistan? Now, obviously, the, the coach didn't travel with us, but during the training, he was he was part of the team and um, uh, looking at uh, his assistants. Uh, and Dagi Wondo taking over and Strut, you know, being the, the betting coach, nothing has changed. Um, uh, it's still the same system, uh, same values that we 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 have in the team. So nothing has changed. It's just that uh, maybe so sort of we just take it like a COVID way. Like now you're there and we're having a meeting over a conference call, but I'm sure you'd be part of, uh, you know, the strategy and you know the, the planning, uh, even when is even when is back at home. Uh, but nothing has changed. Uh, everyone is still positive. Everyone still have the same vibe. Uh, we we are happy that we we're back uh, to play international cricket. So we are looking forward to to this series. All right, I will take the last two questions. Uh, one which goes to Simba um, from Zimbabwe. David Simba. We can't hear you, David. Uh, I think you're on mute. So, 
Sorry, David, can you unmute your mic? Ah, it's unfortunate we can't we can't get you here. Um, can I take the last question? Yeah, this is Moisha from the news. Uh, uh, Zimbabwe were unlucky to have missed last World Cup. Uh, what different you are planning uh, this fall uh, for the coming World Cup to qualify directly uh, rather than playing in the qualifying round? Thank you. Uh, well, I said before, um, obviously, we, we have spoken about these things. Uh, we, we felt the impact uh, that happened last time of not qualifying to the World Cup and uh, these games, you know, before uh, the qualifiers, we, our aim is to qualify before um, we get to go to the qualifiers. Uh, we, we're going to be playing cricket to win. Uh, we're going to be positive. And that's what the captain wants and he's a positive captain. So you're going to find, and the, the other good thing is there's a number of players that have played a number of international games. So, you know, having that with a mix of young uh, players uh, with what the captain and the coach wants, um, it's going to be uh, more on the positive side than than what we have done before. All right, gentlemen, uh, that's Elton Shigumbura, uh, senior Zimbabwe player. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we look forward to interacting with you again during the entirety uh, of the talk.